Live from Newark, New Jersey, we are proud to present to you Moby's first ever comedy special, Triggered. I know what you're thinking. Why did we host it in Newark, New Jersey? How long will I live while he tells these jokes? Well, I hope you brought a bulletproof vest to protect yourself and maybe an armored truck to protect your family. And I'd like to present Moby Gene. Give him a big welcome and an applause. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know I'm clapping uh, for myself. You know, most people would believe that's uh, kind of weird, but, you know, we are in Newark, New Jersey, and uh, you don't want to clap that loud and beat a guy that claps so loud that you didn't hear the sound of the gunshots outside. So that's why a lot of people aren't clapping. But I want to first start off by saying thank you for coming to this comedy special. You know, uh, I know I should have. That's what most people say, should have picked a better location, but that's all I could afford, so uh, we'll, we'll move on. But again, thank you for showing up. You know, a lot of people believe that New Jersey just isn't that good, that, you know, we're just, you know, a bad apple. You know, we're like New York's ugly cousin or something like that. And, I mean, I won't agree fully, but somewhat they're correct. But, you know, I would say, you know, give us a break. You know, New Jersey's been through a lot of things, you know, a lot of we've had a lot of issues. I mean, who can't remember Sandy? You know, to this day, me personally, I don't agree with the name Sandy. You know, Sandy just didn't fit well with me. You know what I mean? I mean, we're in New Jersey. This is where The Sopranos was filmed, Goodfellas. I mean, all the Italian films were filmed here. Any Italian film where someone got shot or killed and uh, someone wore a suit. I mean, we, we don't deserve the name Sandy. I mean, you know that ring from Lord of the Rings was made right here for the movie in New Jersey by I think some Italian jewelry store, but I'm not certain. But I just believe we deserved a better name for the storm. I mean, I think maybe Hurricane D'Onofrio would have worked. I could, I could see it in the news right now. <sighs> You know, I got to do that breathing sound, you know, like the wind is hitting that the reporters are doing. I'm live from Hurricane D'Onofrio, which is attacking all of the Papa John's pizzerias. Hurricane D'Onofrio just seems that it's on a path of destruction. Hurricane D'Onofrio hit ShopRite and wiped out all of the pasta, the Prego sauce and all of the Chef Barardi is just gone. Hurricane D'Onofrio is just on a rampage. It's reported that 17 Papa John's, 17 Papa John's, the wind is getting very strong behind me. 17 Papa John's were shut down because of Hurricane D'Onofrio. You know what I mean? I just believe that name might have fit better. But I I see you in the audience. I see you, Italian guy, flipping the pizza dough. I see you're upset, so I'm going to switch it up a little. Maybe the hurricane's name, you know, we are in Newark. Maybe the hurricane's name should have been Hurricane Deshaun. Okay? You like that? Hurricane Deshaun. Let me switch back to reporter. I'm live, and Hurricane Deshaun is scheduled, or should I say was scheduled, to hit New Jersey at 4 p.m. It appears that Hurricane Deshaun is late. Oh, oh, it's appearing. We're going back. We're flipping the channel. It appears that Hurricane Deshaun is in the mall buying a pair of true religions, the jeans. You know, Hurricane Deshaun just likes to look good before it starts a rampage. It appears that Hurricane Deshaun is now about to hit Newark, New Jersey. No, 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 no. Seems that Hurricane Deshaun is waiting in line for the new pairs of Jordans that are about to be released. You know, in all my years as a reporter, I've never seen a hurricane just 
do something else besides destruction. It looks like Hurricane Deshaun is getting in a what looks to be a hoopty or some broken down car and he's drinking a 40. Hurricane Deshaun is driving right by going straight. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like Hurricane Deshaun is going towards KFC. No, 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 no. He's passing KFC. He's got better taste than that. Hurricane Deshaun is going to Popeye's and Hurricane Deshaun is chilling. And uh, this has been Jet. It appears that Hurricane Deshaun wasn't that bad. I don't, I, I've never seen such a hurricane in my life. Back to you at the news desk. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking that we, we deserved a, a better name for our hurricane. You know, you know what I'm saying? I just think Sandy isn't a Jersey type of name. I, you know, but enough about the hurricane. You know, we've been through a lot in Jersey. You know what I mean? We have... Or should I say, we, we had a bum-ass governor, you know what I'm saying? We had a Governor Christie, you know? It's like we were the the picture of if you were obese and in charge. You know, that, that was our governor, Governor Christie, you know what I'm saying? We've had a lot of troubles with Christie. I remember he closed down the bridge because uh, he didn't want anyone else to stop by the buffet the buffet was having a all you can eat and chris christie said no 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 everybody else can stay home and you know some people died but you know that you think he would have learned his lesson after some people died from closing the bridge but that he would have understood that new jersey's upset at him but that 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 didn't do nothing so a few months later he closes down the freaking beach you know, all the entrances to the beach, he shuts it down. Rumor has it that he shut it down because he didn't want no one to see that under the sun of the beach, he likes to put a donut in the middle of his nipple before he chews it while he gets a tan. You know, that, that was our governor, Governor Christie. You know, man, I, I've also been wondering, what, what happened to Subway, man? Subway... Ever since Jared got caught up in the, uh, you know what I'm saying, that pedophile case, you, you, don't, you don't even, Subway doesn't even use the Subway eat fresh. They don't, they don't even use the fresh tagline anymore. You know what I mean? I remember, what was it? I, I went to Subway like yesterday. Went to Subway, my little nephew, you know what I'm saying? I was feeling a little tired, so I just gave him the money to go order my food, and he... The subway guy, when he tried to make his order, the subway guy said, we can't allow you to make an order without ID. You know what I'm saying? Subway is just, is just changed, man. You can't. So I walk up there, you know what I'm saying? I walk up there to make the order myself. And I ask the subway clerk, you know, whoever the guy serving the food is, I'm like, yo, man, could I get some baby cabbage? And he replies, we don't sell baby cabbage. I'm like, yo, 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 man, w what about some, you know, some baby celery? We, he said, we don't sell that. So I'm looking through what they got to offer. And you, yo, man, Subway's food ain't even fresh no more. He just, I just told him, read me what you got. He said, we got mature lettuce. We got grown beans. We got full adult mayonnaise. You know, none of our food is below age. You know what I'm saying? He just seems stressed. You know what I'm saying? So I tell him, I tell him, you know, do y'all have pickles and he pulls out a pickle jar and that pickle jar the pickles were just black you know what i'm saying and i knew the pickles were black because they said you know what i'm saying the pickles had some uh fucking hot sauce dipped on them you know but that's something else so they you know subway just ain't the same but you know you know who i feel bad for because subway man subway used to be the place where if you were fat you could get a lot of girls you could go to subway and you know, your pickup line was just that I'm trying. I'm trying to change my life. You know, I mean, I had a homie, one of my homies, his name is Horse. You know what I'm saying? His name is Horse. I know what you're thinking. Why? Well, we call him Horse in college, you know, because he was the dude that could take five shots of Jack Daniels. He would not black out and fall on the ground. He'd just be standing and in in he's blacked out standing. Horse would go up there big dude he weighed like 350 horse would just go to subway and yo he would leave out with mad numbers you know mad girls i would say he would be bagging an average of an eight to a nine because you know when subway was that thing man when subway was big if you were fat overweight you know what i'm saying because horse was horse was 350 pounds of man boob 
You know what I'm saying? Each of his titties probably weighed the same amount as a bowling ball. You know what I'm saying? But he would walk out, and I'm I'm waiting for him in the car. He would walk out with like five, ten numbers, cause yo, them girls couldn't say no. I mean, how you gonna say no to a guy? that's trying to lose weight, that's trying to better himself. It, it just made these women feel bad, and, you know, I would, and they would give him his, you know, they would give him their numbers, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's my boy Horse right there, but, you know, man, Subway was that place for fat people, you know what I'm saying? You could you could go to Subway on uh, at 6 a.m., you know what I'm saying, and bag a hot girl. You know, that's usually when all the girls that would go jog in early in the morning, that's where they would go, and if you were fat, you know what I'm saying? You could pretend like you walked there. You know what I'm saying? You could you could pretend that you walked five miles every day to Subway early in the morning to pick up a healthy meal. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what horse would do. Horse would have me like park the car like five blocks away from Subway. And he would like, he would pour some hot water on his body to look like he was sweaty. And he would just walk into Subway and uh, the the girls would look at him. They would just say, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to better my life. I'm trying to change my life like Jared. In fact, you know what I mean? I, right now in Subway, the way things are, they don't say eat fresh. They don't say nothing. You got, like I said, you got to come there with ID. You must be 18 or older to order your food at Subway. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Subway's messed up now, you know what I'm saying? And I know some of y'all thinking, well, Subway's fucked up. Why, why not just go to Arby's? But, you know, Arby's is for fat people that want to look like eating a fucking rib sandwich that's on a sandwich that's on bread is healthy. You know what I'm saying? Arby's is just, it's just for fat people, you know what I mean? You got to be big. You ain't losing weight. You ain't doing nothing at Arby's, you know what I'm saying? And man, but I do miss Subway though. But Subway's even Subway's at the point where you can't order food at Subway if you're wearing glasses. You know what I'm saying? They they look for your identification, all that. You know what I'm saying? Subway, what happened, man? I used to love Subway. Get that five dollar foot long, even though that five dollar foot long was mostly bread. You know what I'm saying? I got a story. I remember I went to Subway once and I ordered a five dollar foot long. And um, the lady that was serving me was cutting up the meat. So she put like six slices. I mean, thin, thin ass eyelash looking slices of meat. You know what I mean? Like you could throw you could throw that meat she was putting on my bread in the sky. And that joint would float like it was a paper plane. So she put six slices of uh, ham or turkey, whatever that shit was on my bread. And the manager comes out and says, wait a minute. You've given him too much. Take two slices of that thin ass eyelash looking ham out of the bread. You know what I'm saying? And ever since then, I've, I've always had a bad feeling about going to Subway, you know, but I guess, you know, that, that that's what happened, you know, but I, I still miss Subway, though. I'm going to be real. I, I miss when Subway was that thing. Now. You can't really go to Subway, man. You you go eat with you go eat at Subway. People look at you weird. You know what I'm saying? You can't wear a trench coat at Subway no more. You know what I'm saying? It, it could be the winter. It could be a storm. If you're going in Subway, you better go in there with some shorts and uh, you know what I'm saying, a white tee. You know, you you can't come there with a long trench coat or anything. They gonna think you know what I'm saying. You 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 another Jared. You know what I'm saying? A part of me kind of now though that Jared's in jail. A part of me kind of understands. Maybe I understand how he lost weight. Maybe early in the morning, after chasing a kid that was chasing an ice cream truck, he would be so tired he would end up at Subway. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that maybe that's why Jared lost all that weight. You know what I'm saying? He would be chasing some kid going after an ice cream truck and uh and the only place he could stop because he's so tired after chasing a kid was Subway, you know. But you know, R. I. P. to Subway, man. You know what I'm saying? It it was good until it got strange. Very strange. You know what I'm saying? But uh you know, man, you know, you know what I like? I like a girl with a forehead, you know, kind of kind of like Rihanna, you know what I'm saying? A part of me thinks, I think people, I think chicks or people with big ass foreheads are 
in the womb when they develop i believe they start with their forehead first you know what i'm saying like the forehead develops then the rest of their head then the rest of their body you know what i'm saying i personally i would date rihanna you know what i'm saying i i wouldn't i wouldn't you know what i mean i wouldn't stay with her but i would date her i would give it a try you know but I like a girl with a big forehead because a girl with a big forehead, A, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to text her. You could just leave a sticky note right on her forehead. She wakes up, you know what I'm saying? She wakes up, touches her head. She touches her head and just sees the note, you know what I'm saying? And the note, she reads the note right off her head and it says, I'm out with the homies. I'm about to get a drink. You know what I'm saying? A girl with a big forehead is very useful. You know what I'm saying? Also, think about it. Think about all the money you could save on Valentine's Day. You don't got to buy a Hallmark card. You don't got to buy nothing. You just write right on her forehead with the note. You know what I'm saying? And she going to read it and she going to say, oh, I love you. You are so thankful. And you, you're not even in the house because, you know, you left the note with her. You know what I'm saying? Breakfast in bed. She wake up and the notes on her head. You know what I'm saying? I got to copyright that. That was a good line. But uh, also, you know, a girl with a big forehead is very useful for protection, too. You know what I'm saying? You get in a fight. You know what I'm saying? Somebody about to swing at you. Use a forehead as a shield. You know what I'm saying? A forehead like that, that big is very useful. Also, think about it. You know, just I, I mean, I don't think this would ever happen. But, you know, all the ISIS and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You're walking, you're in a chicken shack, and out of nowhere, a sniper, you know, just shoots. You know what I'm saying? Nine out of ten, if the sniper, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I doubt I'm wrong. If, I know if you get hit in the head, you would die. But if you get hit in the forehead, you you know, the odds of you surviving are like 80%, depending on how big your forehead is. So, you know what I'm saying? Think about that. A girl with a big forehead is very useful. You know what I'm saying? Also, I mean, think about it. One more thing. Just just think about that. You done. You know what I'm saying? You just laid it down. You just entered her. You know, you just entered her like a search party. Flashlights and all that in her, you know. And after you done fucking her, you know, you also get a place to lay down your penis. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of dudes don't know that a girl with a big forehead is very good and very useful for a penis rest. You just... Put your dick on top of a forehead and your dick gets to rest. It's like a re, you know, for my people who watch Dragon Ball Z, it's like the re, her forehead will be the rehabilitation chamber. You know what I'm saying? You just put your head on, you just put your dick on a forehead and it gets to rest, you know? So now I know what you're thinking. Why wouldn't I stay with Rihanna? I just, I just picture that if Rihanna opened her legs, I would see, you know, the original Chris Brown, you know what I'm saying? The original Chris Brown under there just just screaming, you know what I'm saying? She broke me, you know what I mean? Singing or something, but I just think that, to me, Chris, he messed up, you know? She was Caribbean, it's, plus she had a forehead. He could have just left the note and said, I've cheated on you, I think we need to break up. And, you know, she was Caribbean, so that, that might have not worked. You know, if, if that didn't work, you know, Chris Brown could have just said, you know, I no longer like goat. You know what I'm saying? And we Caribbeans, and I'm telling Jamaican, Haitian, Trinidadian, whatever you are, we love goat. You know what I'm saying? I think when I came to America, they say, why did the chicken cross the road? I didn't understand it. But when they said, why did not why did the goat cross the road? I knew because I knew a Jamaican and a Haitian were chasing that goat across the street. Had Chris Brown just said, I don't like goat anymore. You know, maybe Rihanna, you know, to put the accent, would have said, well, I can still cook you some oxtail. You know, then he would have just had to revert to just saying he's a vegan now. You know, and she would have left them. She would have left them alone because uh, I've never met a vegetarian, Haitian, Jamaican or Caribbean person. You know, we we love our goat and our oxtail too much. I think if I think when I die, you know, somebody should just put a piece of fried goat right in my coffin. You know, I, I just want to know that I still smelled like I ate goat when I go to heaven. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All my Caribbean people, they know. And, you know, that would have stopped the whole fight. Chris Brown would have been free. 
wouldn't have lost money. Now, you know what I mean? I guarantee you open Rihanna's legs right now. You see all the endorsements, all the money that Chris Brown would have had. You know what I'm saying? You All the bread he would have had, like over $500 million is right down in her legs. Or maybe I'm wrong, not in her legs. In the marks she left them, the slaps, you know. But, you know, enough about Chris Brown. That happened a while ago. But, you know, I, I also I wouldn't I wouldn't stay with Rihanna because I just have a feeling that if I would have slept with her at some point, she would have I would have saw the lost souls of Chris Brown's original spirit, you know, would have, you know, what I'm saying I would have seen his spirit and they would have said, let me talk to you. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that's why I wouldn't stay with her. Also. A woman that sings about always needing an umbrella. I mean, I, I like a girl that's wet, but that's that's excessive. And I, I may be Haitian, but I can't swim. I still can't swim for some reason. I'll, I'll touch up on that on a, another special, but I can't swim. And if a girl says she needs an umbrella all the time because she's so wet down there, that's that's too much. That's too much water down there. I just want to say, if you're listening to this, my boy, horse, if you listen to this horse, my man, <laughs> your horse, man, call me, man. You know, uh, horse was one of my good homies from college. You know what I'm saying? He's the dude I mentioned a couple jokes back that he would take five shots of Jack Daniels and would just black out while still standing. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we, we just don't talk like we used to horse. That was my homie right there. We just don't talk like that no more. And I remember, you know, I, I thought we would be homies for life. You know what I'm saying? Because the way we met in college, you know, you know, I remember uh, I met him. We were, you know, I wasn't dorming with him, but I met him. We were in the same class. So we had a test. I, I remember this test, this test, you know, this that test where you don't sleep. You know what I'm saying? And I woke up and uh, before I entered the class, he said, yo, good luck. We shook hands and you know, we shook hands and both our hands was hairy. And he looked at me, I looked at him and he said, wait a minute, you do it too. You know, uh, you people in the audience might not understand, but you know, in college, I won't lie, I didn't just masturbate because I couldn't get any, you know, that, that wasn't just the reason at times. But I, I learned that before a hard ass test, you should beat off, you should beat off like, Two hours before the test you know what I'm saying you get all that stressed out of your body and you know me and horse did that we we both believed in that technique so you know we fast forward you know to a couple months ago you know what I'm saying I, I never thought I would care that much about social media because you know back in the day you used to just talk to people y'all friends but horse man horse blocked me man he blocked me on Instagram you know what I'm saying I still got his number and all that, but, you know, he blocked me on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? So I give him a call. I'm like, yo, horse, my dude, my my G, my, my homie, why you blocked me on Instagram, man? He said, man, you know, and, and the, it's, it's not just that he blocked me, it's the time he blocked me. You know what I'm saying? I was just about to, I got a routine, you know what I'm saying? You know, I beat off every Thursday, and he knows that. So when he blocked me, you know, my hand was just about to put in work and I got the notification I was blocked. So I check my Instagram and I see that horse block me. So I call him. He picks up the phone. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, your horse was good. And he like, you know, bad up good. But yo, bad. I had to block you, dog. And I'm like, your horse, man, why you block me, homie? We, we've been homies since college, man. Come on. And he said, you know, bad, because... You just don't respect me, man. You you always put in a sad face emoji on my post, man. I just had enough of that. And I'm like, yo, horse, man, all you do is post food. And, and you be posting food that you bit. You know what I'm saying? Who the hell post a picture of a cake with a bite mark on it? Or a cheeseburger with a big ass tooth mark that looked like a fucking dinosaur bit it? And he replies, yo, bad. A lot of people don't know 
that's the real art of trying to showcase that the food with a bite mark is how food should really be. You know, it has the presence of the human anatomy that was there with my bite mark. And I'm like, yo, horse, man, come on, man. Put, put me back on, bro, come on. You know what I mean? I have your phone number, but I like to follow you, man. I like to know where you at, homie. You know what I'm saying? Your phone number ain't enough, man. We homies, we, we closer than this, man. I like to know and see your notifications of bitten fries and shit. At least I know what you up to that you all right. And, and dude, dude replies, you know what I'm saying? Yo, man, I, 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 just, I, I just need my space, man. And then I reply, yo, man, yo, horse, come on, man. How am I going to know? That Burger King is having a buy one patty, get 300 chicken nuggets for free, man. How am I going to know that Wendy's is having a two slushies for the price of one? Come on, man. How am I going to know that KFC is going to give you 50% off if you skip going to Popeye's, man? Your notifications are how I figure out what I'm going to eat, man. Come on, man. And then dude replies, well, you know what, man? I'ma think about it, man. You gotta give me some time, though. I got, I gotta think about this thing. Oh, oh shit, man. They having a buy one fry order and get seven burgers for free at the uh, fucking uh, checkers. I'ma holler at you. And yo, I haven't heard from him ever since. You know what I'm saying? So that yo, whatever checkers was doing, it must have been, it must have been good. He must have ate himself into a coma. Because I haven't heard of dude. He hasn't posted anything. I haven't seen nothing. So, your horse, man, if you hear this, my dude, holla at me. You know, I thought I would never reveal this. You know what I'm saying? I thought I would just, I would take this to my grave. But, you know, man, I'm getting a special vibe from all of you here. And I feel like we're almost family. So, I'm going to share it. Um, to all the ladies in the audience, I just want to confess that I'm a tip dipper. I, I know you're, you're thinking, what is a tip dipper? Well, some of the guys here know what it is, but I'll, I'll elaborate. I'll explain. Well, basically, once you allow me to get in your house, you know what I'm saying? Like, once I've been to your house three to four times, I start, I start dipping the tip of my penis in your food. For example... I mean, I wash it, you know what I'm saying? my I wash it before I do it. I mean, I was, my icon was Mr. Clean, and you know, you, you gotta stay clean. So basically what I do once I get the keys to your crib is that, you know, I wash up down there and I begin to just dip my penis in your food, your drinks, you know what I'm saying? That mayonnaise, that peanut butter, that soda, that liquor, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, anything that I could dip it in that, you know, not cereal. I even I even dip it in your oatmeal. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I, I see the troubling looks in your eyes, but um, it, I do it for good reasons. You know what I'm saying? You see, besides, besides dipping it, you know what I'm saying? You get a good feeling from doing that. You know, I might have some problems, but I'm going to check that out after the show. But I dip my penis, the tip of it, in your food. So you can have a taste of it, you know what I'm saying? So a chick will like eat food from her house and be like, man, something, something about this. It just tastes a little different. And the only problem I have is when you invite your family and they don't know that they're tasting the tip of my penis in their mouth. But, 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 you know, just listen to me, you know what I'm saying? So after a few weeks you know you keep tasting the food you know what i'm saying you eating your oatmeal i even dip it in the milk you know what i'm saying you eating your cereal then it finally happens one of these days chick gives me a blow job and she says wait a minute wait a minute this tastes familiar <laughs> well you know that's my show i want to thank everybody for coming uh you know I was going to talk about Trump, but I'm going to save that for my next comedy special. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep that I'm gonna keep that away from now. I'm going to save the Trump talk for when Netflix gives me a call for my comedy special. You guys have been great. Um, everybody get home safe. 
and uh in fact yeah yeah make sure when you get out to run duck you know we are in newark you know what i'm saying i won't have to do that because um i bought one of my i bought this uh deodorant this spray from a crackhead down the street called bullet repellent you know what i'm saying so you might just see me walk walk towards the gunshots because it ain't gonna affect me so uh peace i'm gonna holler at y'all we gonna talk and again thank you have a nice night this special has been sponsored by dominique's fried chicken located on broad street in newark if you can get there live you'll taste the best fried chicken of your life dominique's fried chicken damn it's good